This is the laser isotope separation chamber or also known as Silex and it has now been finally completed with its laser counterpart which is the APL. Now the Silex is a pretty essential machine in HBM's mod because it is used to recycle or separate the isotopes of used RBMK fuel pellets. Now as RBMK reactors are the most common reactors in this mod, it makes this machine pretty important. So in this video, I'm gonna go over how to use it, how to automate it and the dangers of using the Silex. Alright, so we start the video with the crafting recipes for the Silex and the FEL. So the Silex and FEL, both of them are crafted in the assembly machine. The Silex recipe is as shown on your screen right now. These are the materials that you are gonna need. It is not a very expensive recipe. And then there is the FEL, which is crafted using the following components in the assembly machine. Now both of these machines are to be used with each other. Like you need the FEL in order to use the Silex or actually separate the isotopes from it. So once placed down, the, F, the Silex looks something like this. It is a 3x3 machine and it has the following GUI. Here's the hydrogen peroxide, the internal buffer for hydrogen peroxide and these are the input and output slots of the machine. Now if you click on the recipe, it will show you all the things that can be processed in the Silex. And as you can see, there are different criteria or different laser beams required in order to process specific materials. So some of them require infrared radiation, some of them visible light and some of them even gamma radiation. So here is the visible and the infrared and if we go a bit further, there we go. We have the Bellfire fuel pellet which will require ultraviolet radiation in order to be separated into its isotopes. So how do you pro produce these different types of radiation or these di different types of radiation beams? Well, to do that we have the FEL. So the FEL once placed down looks something like this. If we look at its GUI, this is the GUI. Here is the place or the internal buffer for energy. Then we have the place for the crystal, which will be actually producing the laser beam. And finally, behind the FEL, we have a single slot where we can connect cables or a power supply. So for now, I'm just going to power this FEL with a simple self-charging americium battery. But I will show you that <laughs> this is not enough to power the uh, FEL in some cases. Now once you place down the battery, it will start charging the FEL's internal buffer. Now there are different crystals. The CO2 crystals, which can be used in the FEL by the way. The CO, the CO2 crystal will produce infrared radiation, bismuth will produce visible light. The CMB shirbidet antimatter crystal produces ultraviolet radiation. Then we have the spark laser crystal which will produce gamma radiation and finally we have the most dangerous out of them all which is the di gamma radiation or the di gamma laser crystal okay so how to actually power this machine take any crystal and place it in the crystal slot here and once it has power just turn the switch on and it will fire its laser beam now this laser will pass through and through the silex and will start powering the silex and as you can see the Silex is right now powered with infrared radiation. So any recipe which is dependent on infrared radiation can now be processed in the Silex. As you upgrade the, this laser beam, as you upgrade the crystals, more and more recipes can be unlocked with it. Now the thing is that it is not without any dangers. If you walk through this laser beam, it will damage you or any mob. It will also break any blocks which are not strong enough to withstand it. So that was the infrared radiation. Now let's take a look at the visible radiation. Now the visible radiation will consume a bit more power than the infrared radiation and it will also break blocks. But the thing is that if you walk through it, it will give you blindness. And in order to get rid of it, yeah, you have to drink milk. So that was the visible radiation. Now next up, we have the gamma, no, not the gamma, the ultraviolet radiation. The ultraviolet radiation, as you can see, consumes a lot more power than the visible and the infrared radiation does. And it will be reflected in the silex as well, that which laser beam is going through it. Next up, we have the gamma radiation produced from the spark crystal. Now the gamma radiation is a bit different as it will break blocks. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is one thing. As soon as you shift to gamma radiation, it will start consuming a lot more energy than a single self-charging cell can provide. So yeah, power is one thing that the FEL will consume quite a lot. Now the gamma radiation can also break blocks 
but what it will do to mobs is it will turn them into zombies or the villager into zombie but yeah and finally we have the digamma laser crystal the most dangerous one out of all of them as walking through the digamma radiation will actually give you the digamma radiation and it will take down your maximum parts and eventually it will kill you now one more thing to notice here is that the silex is directional you can only fire the beam through this white bluish slot and you cannot do it the other way around because if you fire the laser beam through this slot that i am showing you here then it will just break the silex as the laser when it goes through a block it breaks the block right then if you fire the laser in the wrong slot like this it will simply break the silex now there are a few ways you can actually feed the silence so first way is by placing the universal uh, tanks and you can feed the silex with hydrogen peroxide in this way or in order to automate this process you can also place down a tank and then you can connect that tank into the silex using the fluid ducts but once again remember that direction matters in this so once you have placed down then connected everything properly it will feed the silex with hydrogen peroxide in a similar way you can use item ducts from thermal expansion or from build craft in order to feed materials into the silex as most of the materials that we are gonna be recycling in the silex is gonna be radioactive material it's best that you don't handle it with hand and use item ducts to automate this entire process now once all of that is done a silex is ready to go so we are gonna process this medium and rich uranium recipe here and for that we require infrared radiation so let me get some medium and rich uranium fuel crystals and also the co2 crystal in order to produce our infrared radiation for the infrared laser beam now once you place the crystal down it will tell the silex and you can then place the fuel pellets in there they will be transferred into the silex to the correct slot and the silex will start processing the MEU and it will break it down into its component isotopes and it will also give you some nuclear waste. So that is how you can recycle nuclear waste using silex or you can recycle the RBMK nuclear waste using silex. Now one more thing to notice here is that the silex can actually be stacked. So a single laser can power multiple silex. Now of course the laser beam has its range, it has a limited range. But you can place down multiple silex in order or in front of a single laser beam. Another thing, if or an alternative, you can take something like a CMB brick which has high enough blast resistance in order to stop the laser from going in front in case you only want to use a single silex and not multiple of them. So yeah, that was all about the silex. I hope you guys liked this guide. If you did, do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Peace out guys. Yes, yes.